Hey guys, this is Shuman from ASC Technical. Today I am going to show you how to fix error code 0x8007057. The file or directory is corrupted and unreadable. Maybe sometimes you are facing such problems as like corrupted or unreadable file or directory or a Windows computer. There are several reasons for a file or directory to get corrupt or unreadable. The most common caused by improper file transfer, improper removal of removable drives from the system bad sectors, physical damage to the external hard drive or USB drive, a virus or malware infection, corruption of FAT, EXFAT or NTFS partitions or file system corruption. However, don't worry about it. Here's the best solution for this error code 0x8007057. Well, let's get started. At first, let me insert my USB flash drive. Alright, now let me show you the main issue which that happened in my case. Today when I am transferring a video file from my camera's internal to external storage, then suddenly the external USB storage was shaken. Due to the shaking of my hand, the video file was moved but the drive was get corrupted and unreadable, as you can see. Whatever, now let's fix it. At first, go to Windows search box and then type here cmd then right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator as you can see all right now type the command chkdsk space forward slash f then type the corrupted and unreadable drive letter here's mine corrupted and unreadable drive letters is h So I'm just type here H colon and then hit enter. Then you should see the message. Windows has made correction to the file system and no further action is required as you can see. If you are lucky then this simple method may solve your problem. If the first method does not work for you and if you think that your drive has encountered with critical error then just follow me. At first you need to download AOMEI partition assistant by googling. I have already downloaded and installed. So I am just open it. Next select and right click on corrupted or unreadable drive. Next click on surface test to detect damaged or bad sector on the drive. Note here we will recommend you that uncheck the quick check box because several times the quick check option is not properly detected the damaged or bad sectors. Alright now just click on start as you can see. Now leave your PC for a while do nothing until the process is completed. It will take several hours depend on the drive size and drive speed.
After completing the process, if detect any red sectors, I mean damaged or bad sectors, then don't worry about it. Now just right click on corrupted or unreadable drive. Next click on properties. Next click on tools menu. Next go to error checking utility and then click on check. Now just click on repair drive. Then you should see the message your drive was successfully repaired and the drive is ready to use. That's it. Hopefully your problem will be solved. Now let's go to the advanced method. At first, you need to download HDD Regenerator by Googling. I have already downloaded and installed, so I've just opened it. Alright, it just looks like this, as you can see. Now just click here to repair damaged or bad sectors. Note. If your hard drive system SATA mode is AHCL then click on no. If your hard drive system is IDE, don't worry, then you will not see the pop-up window. Here's my hard drive system is Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, I mean SATA. So I'll just click on no. Alright, now select the corrupted or unreadable drive from here as you can see. After selecting click on start process, then you should see the pop-up CMD window as you can see. Now just follow the screen instructions properly. Now just press 2 on the keyboard to normal scan and then hit enter. Next just press 1 to scan and repair and then hit enter. Next press 1 to start sector from 0 and then hit enter. Now leave your PC for a while, do nothing until the process is completed. It will take several hours, depend on the drive size and drive speed. After completing the procedure, hopefully your problem will be solved. Alright, now I am press escape to pause. Next, I am just press 5 and then hit enter to exit from this program. Next, I am just press any key to exit from here. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.